Hi, and welcome back to Holistic Developer. I'm Anna, the host of this channel. This is a quick video about something that I figured at this good time for us to chat because like why not i i checked uh, the forums today on blind there were a lot of people oh my god people who work for airbnb um the stock valuation now it's crazy like you, you like everybody who started to work at airbnb they will become millionaires and so on so um yeah let's talk about stocks and some finance as software developers and last year i remember that um like Last year, in December December 6, 2019, I decided to open a Robinhood account and uh, start buying stocks there. Because the, the part that was appealing about it, it was that prior to that, I was using TradeKing and for every single transaction, I had to pay $4.99 to buy a stock or sell a stock. And that was definitely something that was <laughs> not as uh, easy to buy and sell stocks because every time you needed to make sure that you buy at the right time and so on. And the Robinhood not having those transaction fees, it's really, really interesting. So I remember last year, exactly one year ago and three days, because right now is December 10th, um, I decided to open the Robinhood account. As a result, I got a free stock. So I was kind of happy, but I invested $500 and I wanted to see how they will do over time. So I invested in a few stocks. I kind of uh, randomly, I think I put in, <laughs> I bought some stocks that had dividends and I really like how it did. So since then, um, monthly, I put at least $1,000 there and I try to buy stocks that um, make some <laughs> purchasing sense at that time so if you're interested to see what kind of stocks i'm investing in <laughs> this is the video to to watch so the very first thing that i want to say before we dive in into actually looking at what which stocks do i invest as a developer here are a few things that i want to say that as of now like one year after i started to use robin hood uh, at this time from the money that i invested i have a 10.8 percent return on the money that I invested. The average you get every year is about seven or eight percent return on investments. So having 10.8 at this time is really good. So as you can see, uh, there were ups and downs during the year since I, I invested. Like st when I started, it was kind of a steady, steady, steady flow. And then it dropped and then it suddenly started to go up, 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 up. And then it dropped again and then it go went up and then dropped again. And now it's kind of uh, up. I don't know where it will be. It will go down or not. But at this uh, point in time, it looks really good. So let's look at what stocks do I <laughs> actually invest or the stocks that I actually invested with Robinhood. And again... I am not emotionally attached to any of those stocks. There were some of them are RTFs, some of them are just stocks, dividend stocks that I just wanted to see how the dividend stocks works, and some of them are something that I just wanted to see how it does. So I will just name the stocks, and I'm sure I'll butcher some of them, but bear with me. So IMGN, it's a stock that I got for free from. Robinhood, I didn't buy it. I actually don't even know what it is. A VG, uh, VTI, it's, uh, it's stocks from Vanguard, and I really like Vanguard. I actually invest in Vanguard separately, but uh, Vanguard stocks and uh, um, index funds are something that I see that they perform well, and I try to kind of uh, regularly chime in and put something in there. So I do have VTI, I have VPU from uh, Vanguard, and I also have a VNQ and VGT also. Other than that, I have a Ford stock, I have a Nokia, a GM stock, AT&T stock, uh, IRM, I think that is an RTF, I'm not sure, but it's not doing really well right now. H HSC, HCFT, AINV, NRZ, RC. I don't remember what they are. They're not doing really well right now. So I don't even <laughs> want to see what they're actually. But let's look at the ones that we all know of. It's Disney. I think I bought these stocks probably five months ago. And from five stocks, they're doing pretty well. Uh, then there's uh, PFE, which is doing okay. It's a pharmaceutical uh, stock. I have 
two different stock uh, with Google. It's one is G-O-O-G and then I have G-O-O-G-L. And I remember this G-O-O-G-L yesterday, it was over a thousand kind of um, profit on those. And the numbers that you see here, it's actually the profit that I have over time. Uh, then I have Amazon and <laughs> I bought um, a, a stocks, Amazon stocks yesterday, like uh, for a thousand dollars and I lost a lot since yesterday. So <laughs> that was not a good time for me to buy Amazon stocks, but it's not, uh, you don't have to time the market. At least that's what I'm trying to do. I just try to, to invest uh, at the beginning of the month and I just, I'm not trying to see when it's, it's the good time to buy or not. I'm trying to like, it's the beginning of the month. Here's what I'm doing. Uh, but sometimes it's kind of sucks when you see you buy it here and then suddenly it drops, but it is what it is. Then I have two Apple stocks. I have about seven Microsoft stocks. I have two and 0.15 shares with Netflix and I have 17 shares with Intel and I have just a little bit of Bitcoin. And another thing that I like about Robinhood that I forgot to mention and now that I'm naming how much of those stocks that I have is the fact that they allow me to buy uh, like not entire stocks. like like. I have 3.57 uh, units of sh shares with uh, Google and obviously Google, what is the price of Google stock? Let's look. The Google price right now is $1,767. And like, you, like if you try to invest like every month $1,000 or something like that, you don't even have uh, that amount of money to buy the entire stock and waiting for two months to invest it's kind of you might lose your moment right so the part that uh, that uh, robin hood allows to buy not entire units like you can buy a fifth of the stock or half of the stock that's really that i think that is appealing to me and i didn't have that since the beginning uh, they added or they allowed that functionality they granted that functionality to me recently, and I'm really, really happy about that. So as you can see, I'm not investing on in anything crazy, anything out of ordinary, but I'm thinking like with, with everything that is going today with Airbnb and Dash, Dash Door, should I buy a couple of those stocks or not? Or are they overpriced? <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I hope. <laughs> that the market will continue to to be good one thing that i want to do is like yes i share this information with you but i want you to be aware that i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a financial um like expert to tell you invest in this stock or invest in the other stock or something like that but i'm here to tell you here's what i invested in here's my experience and here's what i see here are the returns that i see in the stocks that i invest and the money that i put every month in my robin hood account and i'm not only investing with robin hood i'm investing with vanguard as well i'm also having a 401k account and so on so this video, the purpose of this is that to bring to your attention then that there are ways of making the money working work for you. Um, because if you have your money in the bank just sitting there, I know it's more secure, you feel more um, safe to know that the money is there and you can get them anytime and the value of it won't go down drastically. Yes, it will depreciate with, um, with inflation, but they are still there but um, like time after time year after year you actually lose money if you keep your money in the bank uh, so what I decided to do is to take a little bit of risk and when I say I it's me and my husband we always consult on what do we want to do next do we want to invest in this stock do we want to try here or not and we are trying to to see how the market does and try to buy stocks um it's not a crazy amount of money or anything like that but we are definitely grateful and thankful that we can invest as much as we can but um i know we are in the position that we can invest those money right now hopefully you can do something like that you don't have to invest a crazy amount of money the sooner you start even with investing $50 a month, it's much better than buying how many, seven cups of coffee. Um, rather than 
buying that Starbucks probably can invest in something and it will grow into something larger, something that will allow you financial freedom in the future. Um, and again, it was a random example with the cuff. What I'm trying to say is that you have to be informed about your finances. There are options to make uh, the money work for you. And this is just one way that I found that it works. And hopefully you found something that you see in my experience, that's something you can apply into your situation. And please, please keep in mind, again, I know I'm probably over uh, stressing this, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing with you my experience. So as you can see from just experimented with Robin Hood, I was able to get a 10%, almost 11% return in just one year. And I'm happy that it's like that. And I hope that the market will continue to grow and return and give back and allow us to have that money, those finances work for us. And we have a passive income let's say so hopefully that was an informative video for you probably motivational as well if it motivated you to invest hopefully you can find something like at least 50 dollars a month and invest in something that will bring you some return and get your uh, feet wet in investing that will be probably something that you can improve and get curious about and see how that works See you in the next video. Thank you for staying until the end. You know the drill. Like, share, comment, and make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.